All right, this is Hugo Catron. I'm playing Kerbal Space Program again. Um, I really do enjoy playing this game. It is a time killer. Uh, most people might not find it that entertaining, but I do. I enjoy watching videos about it on the internet as well. It's, not, it's insane what people can come up with, and like even the really smart people like Scott Manley who understand the math and everything behind all this. And, those are really fun videos to watch. But I don't have a clue what I'm doing other than what I've seen on YouTube and some basic understanding of the principles of flight and rocketry. I don't even pretend to understand the math behind it. But today we're going to work on a heavy plane. Uh, no rockets today. You will not go into space. Uh, I figure we'll work from basic planes to heavy planes to a long distance plane and then maybe a space plane. I still haven't unlocked the magic of space planes yet. Uh, the ones I have have been utter failures or they just strand a guy in space, which is never a good outcome. But mostly today I'm going to be using a lot of the new uh, updated parts, the Mark III cockpit and some of the space plane plus space plane plus parts which were integrated in one of the previous updates i had the space plane plus mod installed on my other computer i didn't like it so much but now that it's actually been integrated with the game it works a lot better so for the most part we want this to be kind of an empty shell so we're going to use this liquid fuel short fuselage we want actually I want most of the weight to be centered in the back so we're gonna go over to structural uh, no utility there we go we want a large cargo bay let's rotate it that way let's close that up let's do a short cargo bay close that up and so let's actually make this cargo bay functional maybe there we go nope nope I'm not very well versed on how to use these cargo bays I understand that there is a docking clamp done, but I, for the life of me, can't get it to center out. So maybe we'll not do that. We'll just leave a nice closed area that is lightweight. Um, we don't need any of that, but now we need fuel. So let's do liquid fuel short. Slap that business on there. And some of these new I like this one. Slap that on there. Oh, that's beautiful. And this has actually has liquid fuel and oxidizer, so let's mark that down. No oxidizer just to save weight. I don't really think that's a necessity anymore. But that should be good. I mean, we might have a nose cone to fit on the back of that. No, we don't. No big deal. <clears throat> so that part's pretty easy. Let's let's just do inboard motors. So we're going to go over to structural, do large pylons. Let's slap that right there. Let's go here. Turn that around. Slap that right there. This might not be enough lift. Put these right there. And then some pretty beefy rocket engines. Now, so what's going to happen here is since our center of weight, center of mass, is here, and our center of thrust is here. We kind of want this 
to point into the center of mass. So let's take these pylons, these pylons, there we go, and I mean it would be easy just to do that, but I'm, I uh, prefer my aesthetics. And, nope, that's too far. So let's knock it down there, point that up like that. So it's roughly pointing at the center of mass. So we should get, should, that should be about right. Uh, so let's see. Let's use this, turn off mirror geometry. We have a nice big tail, whoa, not what I wanted. <laughs> there we go. Goodness. Okay, it does the micro. Nope. There we go. Oh, I'm messing it up. <laughs> so let's delete that one since I've utterly destroyed it. Nope. There we go. Perfect. And so this isn't going to be enough. So what we need now is we need some control surfaces. So let's go back to this screen. Let's add these. No. Let's add that one. No. I'm still getting used to the space plane plus parts. So let's add that one. There we go. No. <laughs> I'm having some issues. That's not what I want. Okay. Let's go back to this. See what happens. No. This one. Yes. Let's mirror that. Flip it like so. This might possibly burn up. So we have it there. Flatten that out. Perfect. So now we should probably turn on the center of lift just so we know what we're doing. These might also not be enough to affect flight. So let's put some big old fat ones here on the end here. There we go. Beautiful. And technically, I probably want these up here on the wing. Ah. Perfect. So now, let's go back and add these. Right there. And right there. And hopefully that should affect airflow enough. <clears throat> so somehow we have to move, this might be a bad idea, we have to move this ball towards that, which is going to be an issue. So I can, I mean, I can, no, can't do that. Can do that. No, that makes it even worse. Can add, let's add. Wait. I mean, I've got the jet engines right there. So we'll start with this. Now I think we're going to have to... have the wings mounted low. We're getting there. And... Do that. We're basically going to keep stacking wings on here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oops. Oops. What's going on here? What is this madness? 
There we go. So this might be kind of a short wingspan. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep bringing these out. And actually, I feel that's a little bit better. That's not what we want. These parts are a little confusing to me. So turn, nope, nope, there we go. Turn that around, line that up, perfect. So we have successfully moved the center of lift well past the center of mass. So let's take this, mount it even lower, and then rotate it up. We mount it lower. Oh, uh, we've kind of got droopy wings here. I don't think I like that. Uh, let's let's do that. That's relatively normal. Uh, this is going to be highly unstable, so let's strut that to the fuselage. And this to the fuselage. It's a bit odd. Strip that. All right, so we have ourselves a big plane. I'm not even going to bother with uh, power. Actually, let's throw a battery on there just to be safe. Uh, let's put some landing gear. This is going to be important because we're going to need every ounce of angular lift that we can take. So let's do that. Nope, oh, still kind of weird. There. All right. It's kind of an ugly plane. It looks, I don't even know how this happened, but I'll allow it. So we got 12 minutes, 40 seconds. Uh, that's long enough to crash this into the ground. Let's give this a shot. Uh, let's name it Heavy Cargo Plane. Save and launch. And as I mentioned before, I am in no way an advanced Kerbal Space Program player. Uh, I basically try things out, stuff I see online. Oh, I didn't strap those engines down. So these I don't want to worry about. So let's turn on that SAS because we're going to need it. Uh, we are slightly pointed up. Uh, full throttle. And let's go. Also, we're not getting any fuel to the uh, jet engines. So let's do that. I really want to see this just explode. So let's do, let's turn mirroring on. Strap that there. Structural. Strap that there. And that should be good. So that should, that should work. So save that. Launch. And like I was saying, yeah, I'm definitely not an advanced player on this. So hopefully watch what I play, maybe learn something small and stupid, who knows, but mostly just learn what not to do. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's working. I do like this new Mark III cockpit, it looks very nice. It looks very reminiscent of the space shuttle. RIP. So we're getting up to speed. Uh, we might use every single inch of the runway. So far it seems pretty solid. It's not wobbling. Um, 
Are we generating our own thrust? That, oh, I don't have any control services on the wings, so that's going to be an issue. And that is definitely not doing enough. So, here's the moment of truth. Whoosh. No. <laughs> oh, no. All right, well, this is the Ubiqua Triumph Plane Kerbal Space Program. Uh, we'll see you next time.